All right, we're gearing up for apple season and I'm gonna show you how to make my favorite apple pie filling today. It's a super simple recipe to make from scratch. You never buy a can of apple pie filling again. Make this recipe and use it in all of your favorites. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm talking all about apple pie filling. I'm showing you how to make my favorite apple pie filling so you never have to buy a can of it again. You can use homemade, tastes so much better and it's even easier than going to the grocery store, I promise. And I'm gonna show you a few different ways to use your homemade apple pie filling. So anytime a recipe calls for a can of pie filling, you can use this instead absolutely delicious. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. Okay, apple pie filling, of course, starts with apples. My favorite apples to use for this pie filling are Granny Smith. Okay, so first thing we have to do is deal with the apples and we are going to peel them, core them, and slice them. It's a lot of work unless you use my handy dandy apple peeler. I will link this down in the comments. This is one of my absolute favorite kitchen tools, even if you only use it once a year, it's totally worth the cost because not only does it peel it, but it cores it and it spiral slices it all in one. So then all I have to do is cut them into quarters to um, be ready to go into the pie filling. Um, I like to cut them in quarters just so that they're a little bit smaller so they're not as big. That's the one thing I don't love about canned, one of the things I don't love about canned pie filling is the apple slices are like ginormous. It's like you, you can't just have like one little bite of apple. I like to make them more bite-sized. Altogether, you'll need four cups of apples, which is about a pound. I've drizzled a little bit of lemon juice over the apples, just so they don't brown. Then add one and a third cups of granulated sugar, one third of a cup of cornstarch, and a teaspoon of cinnamon to a saucepan, and stir that together until it's combined. You can also use a whisk. Add in three cups of water. All right, now we're gonna bring that to a boil over medium heat. Um, it's gonna take a few minutes to boil, stir it often. It's gonna get nice and as it boils, it'll start to, you'll start to notice it'll start to get thicker. That cornstarch works its magic. It's kind of like making pudding. Um, just keep stirring it occasionally um, until it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, you're going to add those apples. Be sure to use a nice large pan. Go ahead, add those apples, stir them in, make sure they're all broken up when you add them in. Then you're gonna lower the heat to simmer and cover the pan. And you're gonna cook this for five to eight minutes um, until the apples are nice and soft um, and the mixture is nice and thick. Stir it often, um, check on it, make sure it doesn't boil over, make sure it's getting nice and thick. And you don't wanna cook the apples too much, but you definitely want them. I don't like crunchy apples and things. I like them to be soft, but not mushy. So there's kind of a sweet spot. You'll need to like check them, make sure that they're almost, you can almost do the fork test like you would with potatoes, um, but check them. It'll take between five and eight minutes, depending on the heat of your stove. Then I just pour this into jars and then I pop them in the fridge. It will thicken more as it cools. And then I have a couple of these jars. It makes about two to three cups of pie filling. So it's absolutely fantastic. It's great. You're gonna make enough to make a full pie with this, um, or you can use smaller amounts of it to make a few different recipes, which I'm going to show you how to make right now. First up is a pie recipe. This is one of my favorites. It's a cheesecake apple pie. Um, now you can make this completely no bake or you can use a baked pie crust, it's up to you. Add eight ounces of softened cream cheese to a large bowl and you're gonna beat that a little bit just to smooth it out. Then add a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix it until it's nice and smooth. Then you will add one cup of Cool Whip, which is about a half of an eight ounce package and stir that together. You can also substitute fresh whipping cream. Once the filling is all mixed and smooth, you're going to spread it in the bottom of your pie crust. I love using my homemade all butter pie crust, but you could also use graham cracker. I'll link everything down below. Then top that with your pie filling. That pie looks fantastic, doesn't it? Okay, the next thing we're going to make is apple strudel. All you need is crescent rolls and apple pie filling. 
this really is the simplest recipe. I'll link the uh, video for my basic uh, strudel up above, but you can also make this caramel apple strudel. Simply cut slip slits in the crescent rolls, add your pie filling down the center. I like to add some nice caramel. You could use my homemade salted caramel recipe and then braid the crescent rolls up over the top bake it and top it with even more caramel. This is the best breakfast. That apple strudel is fantastic. It's one of my most popular recipes all year long. Okay, and now let's talk about apple pie filling with a cake. Um, this just uses a simple cake mix and apple pie filling. It's super delicious. I love it plain with some, or with some caramel sauce on top, but we also love serving this with ice cream. I'm using a spice cake today because I wanted to use it up. It was in my pantry, but you could also use vanilla cake and add some cinnamon. You're just gonna make the cake with the eggs, water, and oil called for on the box because it differs between brands. So make the cake mix as called for and add it to a nine by 13 inch pan that's been sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. Then top it with your apple pie filling and just kind of add a whole bunch of it on the top there and then you're going to bake it. And once it's baked, it's great with just powdered sugar or add some ice cream and caramel sauce. And that's it. Super, super simple way of making apple pie filling. This pie filling, it goes a long way. You can use it in so many different recipes. So easy to make and tastes so much better than a can that you buy at the store. Leave me a comment, let me know what are you gonna make with apple pie filling and keep watching for even more desserts.